Can a good market be a troubled market? That's the question I started asking myself this morning after reading an article about home prices and sales volume. Um, one interesting note is that home prices are up in 23 states. They are back to or within 10% of their ultimate peaks um, before the bust. And in California itself, um, prices rose 17% year over year since last March. Those are some pretty incredible numbers. Now, that's good news, right? If you're a homeowner, that's a great equity position. Um, but uh, what is also noted is that sales volume is decreasing. So what's happening? Prices are going up and less people are buying. And um, what we're seeing is that some uh, experts are, are looking at that as, as signs of a market slowdown and some trouble. And so if you're a home buyer, what does that mean to you, right? Um, should you buy? Should you sit out? What should you do? And um, so what I wanted to do is talk about two points I think that can protect you from markets like this. And the first is buy for a reason, right? Buy with a long-term perspective as opposed to the goal of grabbing something for quick profits and within a couple years I'm going to sell it and make some money. As long as you have a long-term vision for real estate, it's really hard, historically speaking, to make the case that it's a bad move. Right? I mean, we're talking about people who bought at the peak of the market, almost got their money back already. So, you know, and that was a pretty severe correction that we just went through. So it's interesting. If you have a long-term vision, you can shield yourself. And the second thing is get pre-approved based on your desired payment rather than your ability to qualify. And this helps you not stretch, right? Uh, when I have clients come to me, I ask them for two numbers. What's your target purchase price? because that's usually their, their way off in the distance kind of peak purchase price idea. And I say, what's your target monthly payment? And the funny thing is those two things usually have a spread between them. And target monthly payment typically comes in at a lower purchase price than they thought they wanted. And so when you start looking at things in terms of affordability for yourself and a long-term vision, you can really shield yourself from some of these, um, these concepts of ebbs and flows in the market and value and such. So if you want to look at a mortgage plan and see how that might play out for you specifically in your own um, situation, go ahead and uh, click my link below here in the blog and I will uh, set up a mortgage planning consultation for you and we'll see what we can come up with. Have a great day. See you next week.